welcome to the tip of the week. So today let's talk about transmission accessories that require two infrared transparent windows, such as a liquid demountable cell or a gas cell. Now, as the refractive index of the window increases, you have a chance of seeing a fringing pattern in your spectrum. And a fringing pattern is just a sinusoidal wave running through the spectrum. And why is this? Well, you have two parallel surfaces and the beam is ricocheting between the flat surfaces. This is much less noticeable with lower refractive index windows, but as you use higher refractive index windows, such as zinc selenide, silicon, germanium, or amptere, that sinusoidal wave gets more prominent. Let's take a look at some data. This is a throughput spectrum collected with our five centimeter stainless steel gas cell. Now I had two zinc selenide windows. And as you can see, we're looking at throughput around 55% and the sinusoidal wave is evident. So what can you do to decrease that? Well, one thing you could do is use a lower refractive index window. The other solution you might consider trying is to use an anti-reflective coated zinc selenide window. So an anti-reflective coating is a multi-layer coating put on the zinc selenide and it reduces fringing pattern in the spectrum. Let's take a look at a spectrum collected with a one-sided anti-reflective coated zinc selenide on the five centimeter gas cell. Now we can see two things in comparison to the plain zinc selenide window. A, we've got lots more energy because we're getting less reflection off the surface of the zinc selenide. So that's good. And also that fringing pattern has been significantly reduced. So there's your tip this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.